Hello and welcome back to the Medique Trust plugin. Uh, my name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson and today I am going to be demonstrating the asymmetric hip roof. Um, this is a new uh, hip roof that I've added. Well actually it's really just a hip roof but um, it allows you now to deal with asymmetry in those hip roofs. So to begin with I've just gone ahead and created uh, this little um, wall structure here to to put our roof on and uh, and I've made it transparent just so we can see underneath it quickly and, and easily to, so we can focus on the roof itself. Um, well to begin with we just go ahead and create a roof so we're, it's just a, a regular rafter roof that has not changed and this menu then uh, takes you to these options and the hip roof is found here it's about halfway down and uh, like I said this has not changed from previous versions and then we select our three points to define the uh, the rectangle that we want to put the roof on. Okay, and so what has changed is, well, first of all, we're still using the standard SketchUp uh, GUI, um, and I will be switching it to HTML menus eventually here. And so that um, <coughs> this menu will be replaced with an HTML menu, which will show all the options at once. Um, <coughs> and, and right now, you know, you can only you start with a symmetric roof, and and the reason why you cannot start with an asymmetric roof is partly due to the limitations of this uh, menu type. So, once we make that move over to the uh, HTML menus, then you'll be able to start right off the bat with the asymmetric hip roof. But to begin with, we just go ahead and just just click a symmetric hip roof. That's it's, that's the only thing it's going to let you do. Um, hit OK. And then I'm going to turn on the advanced roof options just so we can turn on a few things here. Yes, we'll turn on our sheathing. Um, we'll turn on our roof cladding. And sure, turn on hip and ridge and turn on our gutters. So we're going to go hit OK. And let's put on our downspouts just so we can see those. And go ahead and hit OK. And there we go. We have our standard symmetric hip roof. So the symmetric hip roof, granted, it's all the same around, right? Our pitches on all four roof planes are the same. Now we're going to go ahead and change this up a little bit. So what you do is just right click on that roof assembly and go edit rafter assembly. Okay, and then pops up your edit menu. So now within the edit menu, this is what is different. I'm going to, well, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> What is different is we can now select an asymmetric hip. So if we do that, you'll notice first off that you'll get a whole bunch more parameters pop up, and and you can you know go go back to a symmetric and and those will go away. So with with asymmetric, you have a bunch more parameters, and each one of these parameters has to do with one of these roof planes. So there's always going to be you know four roof planes A, B, C, and D, and <coughs> your A roof plane is always kind of your your base roof plane, okay? And that and this pitch up here and this overhang will apply to roof plane A. And then you'll notice that roof plane B and C and D each have their own section with essentially five separate parameters. <coughs> okay. So, let's go ahead and um well, let's go ahead and move this, to, say, to a 612 pitch, and that'll make this 612. And then this side, um, let's do, say, a 10. And uh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. We'll leave uh, one of those, we'll leave one of these four. And let's make this back side maybe uh, a 1212 pitch, just to have every one of them different. Okay, so the first thing you notice here is this auto. Uh, term right here and you'll see it in three spots right here so what's happening is and you also notice a delta height for each of these roof planes so <clears throat> each one of these roof planes has a bird's mouth cut and it rests on a top plate what that delta height is that delta height is the difference in height from this A side to the B side or the A to the C or the A to the D. So it will either lift or drop down that um, bearing height uh, dependent on um, you know how you set this up. But right now we have it set to um, 
zero for each one so it's going to keep it on the same height all the way around but what it's going to do is going to auto adjust the overhang okay so let's go ahead and give that a shot we've changed all those parameters just the pitches right now and we've changed this one let's go ahead and hit update okay and it's doing its thing all right you know, I might have something turned on here that I'm not supposed to. Uh, maybe not. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, you can see now that we've got quite a different shaped roof. <laughs> this is a very asymmetric uh, hip roof. Every roof plane has a different uh, pitch on it. <coughs> and you can notice that um, you know, each one is listed at what it is. 12-12 on that side, 4-12 over here, 6-12 there. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, however, you will note, now let's go ahead and turn off, I'm going to just move this out of the way for a second. Um, let's turn off the cladding and uh, turn off the um, sheathing so we can see kind of what's going on here a little bit better just had to cough there for a second I'm trying to turn on the mic um, okay so better now we got the roof sheathing and let's go ahead and turn off the gutters too just so we don't have that interfering with our view here okay so yeah you can see that you know all these um, rafters, jack rafters, commons, etc. are and hip rafters are all sitting on top of the wall plate all the way around. It's even. But because of the different pitches it has to uh, adjust the overhang. So you can see with the lower pitches or the less steep pitches you've got a a longer overhang whereas with this um, 12, 12 and 10, 12 over here you've got a very small overhang on that. And so what it's doing, is it's auto-calculating those, and it's essentially keeping the fascia board and the gutter uh, the same height all the way around. Okay. So now, for instance, we let's say that we want to do a 12-inch uh, overhang all the way around, and, and it could be on some, and then on not, a, not on others. Um, you know, it's however we however we want to do that. But let's say that um, well, let's say that on this. Um, on these two, like the B and D. Okay, so B and D we're going to set it at 12. And overhang on D we're going to set it to 12 as well. Okay, so now you'll notice that the, the delta height is going to be auto-calculated. So it's forcing that to be auto-calculated. So we'll go ahead and update that. And it's doing its little thing. And you can see now that the overhang on this side, this side, and this side are all 12 inches. And this side is not 12 inches, but it's still sitting at the zero uh, plate height. And so is A. But because of the difference in pitch, now the, <coughs> the top plate height will have to be higher here by some certain amount, and also higher here. And these heights are different heights, as you can see. Um, so, you know, basically what's happening is is the uh, the plugin will auto calculate what those uh, delta heights are, <coughs> and it'll set the uh, rafters at the right height. And of course, all of that is affected, you know, by not only by your um, your pitch and your overhang, but the bird's mouth cut and the rafter depth all factor into all of that as well. And so you know, you can adjust each one of these individually. Like let's say you this bird mouth cut here is is obviously uh, you know too big. Let's say what is that? That's the uh, roof D. So let's go ahead and just change that to three and a half inches just for just to see how it'll happen. And it's doing its thing. And that didn't look right. Um, well, it looks like we might. Oh, I changed the rafter depth to three and a half inches. I wonder why that didn't look right. Uh, no, we want the bird's mouth cut to three and a half inches. Okay. Sorry about that. Let me try that again. Yeah, we cut our we cut our poor rafter right in half. Okay, so now, 
So now, you know, you can see we got a little bit more meat there on that rafter. We, we've got, gone from a five and a half inch bird's mouth to three and a half. And, um, and, and granted, you know, you can change up these rafter depths. Like for instance, you know, this rafter depth here on roof plane C, being that it's so long, maybe we want, uh, maybe we don't want a five and a half. Uh, maybe we want a seven and a quarter, um, you know, get a two by eight in there. So let's go ahead and do that and change that up. And it's calculating. And, and you can see, you know, it readjusts the roof a little bit because it had to obviously adjust a little bit. And so now you've got a, a much uh, deeper rafter in there. And whereas in these other roof planes, we don't have quite a deep as a rafter. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, that's pretty much <coughs> what there is to this. Um, it's not really that complicated. Um, the, the key point, I guess, I'm trying to make is that with the edit menu here and the ability to, you know, play with these uh, variables kind of on the fly makes it very nice. And so, you know, you can go in here and kind of fine tune the shape of that roof and how you want it to look and how you want your overhangs to be. And then you, you can, and then once you, you can, you know, figure out what your plate heights need to be, your difference in plate heights. So like this is a nine foot height here on the wall. Now you're going to have a certain, um, difference here in, in the, in the height of the wall required for this particular um, so you know you got five and seven eighths you're gonna have to add to that wall to get it up to the height it needs to be um, and so just like the other uh, symmetric you, know, you you have all the same options you have your gutters you have your fascias oh we do have soffit cut as well <coughs> so right now if you can see now granted these rafters aren't very deep, so most of them aren't projecting past the soffit. But uh, let's say I wanted to flush cut those. Let's go ahead and put zero in there, and have that update again. Let's see if that'll do what we think it should, and it did. Okay. <coughs> Man, I must have swallowed something. Today. Um, so you can see that the soffit cut will soffit cut. Um, you know your all your rafters all the way around. Of course, those ones didn't need anything. I think there was a there was a sharper one here. Maybe it projected past. I can't. I guess not. Um, but yeah, it'll soffit cut um, not only the uh, jack rafters and the commons, but it'll also take care of your hip rafters as well, if those need to be uh, cleaned up. Actually, it did. Actually, I didn't even see it. So there you go. It even that little blip right there, it it took it out. Um, uh, let's go ahead and turn back on our sheathing and cladding. So sheathing now, um, it's sitting right on the roof plane as it should. I'm going to go ahead and make that transparent just so we can see it a little better. And you can see that um, those roof planes are right where they need to be. Um comes right here, it joins up uh meets right here on the corner. Everything should be as it would be perfectly framed. Uh, of course in the field it's not gonna look quite that nice, but you know that's virtual versus real. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the gutter too just so we can look at that. So there's your asymmetric roof with everything on it, and like I said, you've got all your rafters, and your hips, and your jacks, and your commons, and your ridge board, everything's there. And like I said, it'll auto-calculate what you need for your overhang or your uh, delta heights. Other thing, nice thing too, is with the asymmetric, you know, you've got this, your overhangs being adjusted. And your gutters will account for that. So if this gutter needs to be, you know, if this is out here further, then your gutter is going to kick back. And I'll, let me let's go ahead and show you that real quick. Um, so for instance, what do we got? We got uh, roof B over here. We're going to go ahead and make that back to zero, for instance. And you can set that to five or even a negative number. Your delta height is going to be negative as well. Um, they don't have to be a positive number. Now by setting it to auto, the overhang now is going to change. Let's go ahead and change that up. 
and it's thinking and it's done okay so you can see that the gutter here the downspout you know s curves down like that and then whereas on this one the overhang is much less so we've got a much smaller s curve to deal with all right um that's pretty much it for asymmetric hip roofs um i think everything is in line um there may be a few little items that i've missed um, oh, ceiling joists, um, I'm still, those really aren't functional right now, I'm still working on those. Um, I haven't really come up with a solution yet as what a, how I want to handle those because of the possibility of these delta heights on all four roof planes. So I'll, I'll, I will be uh, giving that some more thought and then I'll come up with a solution. Um, but uh, yeah, it was quite a, quite a task to mathematically calculate all of this. Um, and you can see that the, these... Uh, <laughs> This hip and ridge I'm actually quite proud of. I mean, in order to get this to merge nicely there, right, uh, right together, you know, this this seam has to be, you know, because of the asymmetry, it, it's not vertical. It's coming in at a different angle. So each one of these is at a special angle, and they all meet uh, perfectly. So yeah, I hope uh, I hope you guys appreciate the effort that I put into getting this all to work out just right uh, it was it was quite a, it took about a week's worth of uh, effort to get it to uh, come together so and, and again uh, there may be a few fires yet that need to be put out I don't know I just barely you know tested it last night and today and uh, I, uh, there's always a few little things that I've missed along the way so anyways if you notice anything let me know um, but I appreciate your support and thank you very much